Wow. They are popping up all over downtown. It's a huge, huge mural. Look how big that thing is. Mark Cosby is from Tampa. This was his first time visiting Jacksonville. Walking around downtown today, we saw three or four buildings with murals on it. While in town, his family watched the progress of a new mural. I think it's a great thing because there's a lot of space on these buildings that can be utilized and catch the people's eyes. So many uh, people walking past have been asking me, they're like, did you do this? It will take several weeks to finish this one near the Jacksonville landing. This is the biggest wall I've ever done. James Recca is the artist. As you can hear, he's not from this part of town. I'm originally from Australia. Uh, now I've relocated to Berlin. I've been living there for the last four years. Art Republic oversees the downtown project. The artist says this mural is a woman's face and from her hair are fish. It's bringing culture back into uh, an area that does definitely lack culture. Before the artists come to Jacksonville, they research the city to get inspiration. There's a big uh, water element to this city. You have the river, but also you have the, 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 the sea, the beach as well. So I wanted that to be almost the main part, uh, main theme of this. He says his mural and others will make Jacksonville a hot spot for people who love art. Having these, these murals, apart from maybe it being uh, colorful or bright or happy, uh, hopefully it, it's going to inject culture. Cosby says his soon-to-be stepson can one day visit Jacksonville when he gets older and say that he was a part of a change in the city. He's going to remember this for a long time now because he can remember looking out the hotel window. Matter of fact, we're up on the ninth floor and we looked out every morning to see it. And we see the different colors going on the wall and I think it's pretty cool. Yeah. In Jacksonville, Stephen Dial, First Coast News.